episode 39 of The Beardcaster. My name is Scott Sakura, and I am The Beardcaster. <laughs> Welcome to a podcast all about beards and mustaches, beard culture, and all the stuff that goes along with it. Hear the stories from the people and learn the tricks of the trade on how to grow and maintain your style with advice taken from our personal experiences. It is about facial hair lifestyle we live and our daily lives in the world around us and how we deal with life. So please join me as I share the stories about these people and hear how they are using their facial hair to do great and fun things. Hi everyone, I am the Beardcaster, Scott Sakura. Welcome to my program, welcome to my podcast. Welcome, it's glad to have you, I'm glad, I'm glad to have you here today with me. Uh, this is such a fun episode. If you want to find out more information about who I am, what The Beardcaster is all about, you go to thebeardcaster.com. It's that easy. You just type it in your little browser on your computer, and it'll show up with all fun things for you. You can find direct links to all my social media there at that website, or you can just search The Beardcaster in any of your favorite social media platforms. I am there. I am large and in charge. On all of those places, so hunt me down. If you have any question, comments, concerns, concerns, if there's something concerning you, please reach out. Scott at thebeardcaster.com. There it is. That's all of it. And oh, one last thing. This is for the people that are, if they're feeling ambitious today, go to iTunes, leave a review, rate, five stars. Be like, dude, awesome podcast. Love it. Share it with your friends. That's all I'm asking. So on that note, we're just going to dive right into what today's about. So the other day, bald Face Josh the Child and I decided to go to the Summit County Fair, uh, the Beards in the Barnyard competition. And we had one hoot holler in time. So this is, there's some funny shit here. So uh, Josh and I went around and we talked to a bunch of different people, asked them some random bizarre questions that were beard related uh, to see what kind of answers we'd get out of the guys. So uh, you'll recognize some of the people that I talked to. Uh, there will be some other guys that you might not have heard of, but take a listen. I guarantee you'll get at least one or 15 laughs out of this because every time I keep listening to it as I'm editing it, it just makes me laugh really hard every time. And then after that, if you stick through all that, I sat down with Don Harshberger from the Rust Belt Whisker Society and talked to him briefly about the event that they have coming up on August 12th, the fourth annual facial hair festival, which helps once again, the purple cat, which is a charity located out of Youngstown. So I guess without further ado, let's just dive right into this right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Don't forget, tell a friend, share it with somebody and I'll see you on the backside and go. First person we're going to talk to here is this young man. We have a couple good questions for him. Yeah. Are we ready? Got to walk over to him. Okay. I don't even remember what the questions were. Um, I know one of the questions was, um, what is the most annoying thing you've ever had stuck in your beard? Nothing. Good. Good answer. Oh. How about your eyebrows? Uh, nothing. Your hair? Uh, is that Mike? Food. No, it's good. Food. What kind of food? French fries? Vinegar. No ketchup. No salt. Yes. Definitely. What is your name? The Sun. The Sun. The Prodigal Sun. Yeah. Is it Luck Luck Ass? Luck Ass. Yes. Did you know that monkeys make up over ninety percent of the world's monkey population? How does this make you feel? What? That makes no sense. Are you aware? Makes a lot of sense. Are you aware of the growing problem that we have in this country of bear attacks on salmon? Which are far, far more common than salmon attack on bear. Did you? Were you aware of that? Do you know this? I was aware of that. Go. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Got five random questions hey, for you. Before we get to the questions, yes. that is a killer, killer helmet. Where did you get it? Uh, eBay. You Here. bought it on eBay. Amazon, actually, my bad. Not that is Amazon. that is killer. What was it? Cosplay or what was it? No, I just bought it off there. It was actually shipped right from India. It's real 
Like real, real, real Indian metal. Where? Holy crap, dude, that is bad you, ass. You are a mad Viking. Oh, honest to gosh, mad let's get Viking a picture. Day. Turn around. Goes along with the beard club. Exactly. Okay, question number one. Okay, go ahead. If a celebrity, like these are random questions, are random by questions. the way, these are weird okay, questions. If you had like your your dream celebrity. She came up to you and said. I would have sex with you right now if you shaved. Would you do it? No. Who's the celebrity? Man, it's too many to think of. Selena Gomez would have to be the first. Selena Gomez. So if Selena Gomez came up to you and she put her hand on your just one time, like one oh, time. I, I don't get to know. Go we time? can we we can change this as if much. It's just, if it's just once, then no, I'm not shaving my beard. If it's like we can schedule times, okay, maybe. All right. All right. My question, seeing as how I have no facial hair whatsoever. What is the worst thing you've ever had caught in your the, beard? The worst. The worst? What's the worst? Oh, worst. Yes. Oh, okay. A spider. A spider? Spider. Tell, tell us the story about I that. I literally had, found a spider. I felt something crawling in my hair. Kind of, you know, didn't think nothing of it. Flipped it out, and sure enough, spider came out onto my shirt. Did you scream like a girl? No, I don't scream at spiders. I oh. <laughs> was there a? Up, how uh, you doing? There was no spider web or anything, was yeah, there? Luckily, oh, yeah. my beard products prevent that stuff. Hi. That's the best thing. That would be creepy. A lot of my beard has been bacon, though. <laughs> Did he, ba- th- bacon. What was? Wait, what, I, I missed it. I'm he trying. Said to... The best thing that's fallen out of his beard is bacon. It's better than dandruff. It di- well, yeah, most certainly. But it was disappointing because I wanted to eat the bacon because it was a big enough piece that I felt <laughs> bad that I dropped it. Okay. What was your? What was your next question? Um, all right, my next question, we're going to have to edit this because I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'm trying to pull them up again. Yeah, we, we have. you can tell how planned we are on this. We had it. And then... We did. Uh, let's see. I had the worst thing ever stuck in. Oh, I know. I know. How many times a day do people come up to you and ask you if they can touch it? Several, at least twice. Do you ever look down at your genitalia? When I can see it. That's <laughs> not how the question went. It's not, but that's what the, the question, question insinuated. The question went... Has anyone ever come up and asked if they could touch it? And then you say yes, and then you start to unzip your fly. <laughs> and the beard, too. Yeah. Fair, but I'm trying to remember the question okay, no, as it this goes. This is the last question. What's the most annoying thing someone comes up and says to you about your beard? Why do you grow a beard? I get that a lot. Oh. And right. what's your answer? Because. It, why not? Because you can. Exactly. <laughs> Which I can't. So, in fairness, in fairness, I, w- I think because I can would be a good thing. Do you tell people about the competitions and oh, stuff yeah, like that? Sure. So you charities, the competitions. Oh yeah, for sure. And what is your name? My name is Brandon Barnes. And where are you from? Pennsylvania. And you're a Mad Viking guy, I right? I'm a Mad Viking PA. All right, sure. cool, cool. Thank you very hey, much nice for taking a few bro. minutes. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let me, sir. May I talk with you for a moment? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, who are you? My name's Joe Farrell. Joe, I've never met you before, have I? Uh, of course not. Okay, we don't know each other. We've not known each other for many years. Uh, we haven't known you each other. don't o- know each other? We don't know each other. <laughs> all right, that sounds shady. I know. It is. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, Joe's, Joe's a good guy. We, we, yeah, love, we love me some Joe. We rely on what I'm saying. I've never met him before. I know. We bowled together before. That was well, good. Well, that's not really meeting somebody. That's just bowling. We already knew it each other count. at that point. Was it for charity? It was for charity, yeah. yes. It was, it was for actually for soup. <laughs> no. Which could be for charity, actually. Yes. Bowling for Soup could be for charity. Or they could be a band from Texas. I'm well aware of that. All right, okay, moving we got on. a couple of random questions for you. Okay. What is the most annoying thing when someone comes up to you and says something to you about your beard? What is the one most annoying thing that people say to you? Is that real? As opposed to fake, because, you know... People, people honestly believe you, you have a fake beard. I have been asked, is that real, multiple times, and I feel like, why would I fake this, you know? What would be the, if I was going to make a fake beard? Would it look exactly like this? Is this you know the best I could imagine? Probably not. I would go crazier. I would like make a fake Jeff Langham if I was going to make a fake beard. Right. Well, all right. That is that is good. Has anybody ever asked you to be Santa Claus? No, they have not. It's would, full. It's full enough that if you dyed it gray, but you don't have the figure for it. So I don't. I don't have the figure for it, and Santa doesn't have dreads. So. No. <laughs> he could be a badass he, Santa though. He could. He could tuck him up in the tuck him up in the uh, hat. So. Yeah, just have the. <laughs> that's that's pretty sweet. All right, here we go. I got. I get to ask questions too, even yes. though I have no facial hair. Okay. Do you want me to ask the next one? No, I got this one. Okay. Since I have no facial hair, what is the most annoying thing that you have ever found in your facial hair? Oh boy. You know, one time, I puppies don't count. <laughs> Nor do birds. 
I did have a dog in the beard once, but it was on purpose. Um, let's see. So one time I found a cashew in my beard, and it was not the day that I was eating cashews. It was like the day before. Oh. Yeah, oh. I think I had it braided, so it got oh. caught down in there. All right, all right. So there's a little bit of more of an excuse. Well, yeah, we just but. had bacon as an answer, so... Wow. Someone found bacon in their beard. I, I can't even think of, like, I, spiders I've gotten in mine. Uh, uh, let's, oh, I always love when I get cream cheese in it, and I find it later. That looks incriminating. It's gross. Cream cheese probably looks really disgusting. Okay, next question. If a dream, your dream celebrity, like, say it was like... Uh, ask him who is oh, who's your... Okay, who do you think one of the hottest celebrities are out there? One of the hottest celebrities yeah. out there? Like, you're just like, oh, my God. They'd so do it for me. Your Ooh. dream girl. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, okay. She's awesome. So if Scarlett Johansson came up to you and said, Joe, you and I can have one night of the most erotic sex, but you have to shave your beard off, would you do it? Uh, probably not. No, okay. I don't think so. Okay. What if she said a week? I'll take you. You and me are going to go to an exotic location for a week and just have the greatest time ever. Would you shave your beard off? Oh, that's so hard. I don't. I, 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 hopefully, that's what she would say. <laughs> I, <laughs> that would be, in fact, what she says. Yes. I, I don't think I could do it. I don't know. I, I don't think I could get behind somebody who would say, you must change yourself to be with me ever. But what if so you were to get on matter. top of her instead of behind her? <laughs> I feel like behind would be better anyway. Oh, yeah, because you wouldn't have to look at her. No. Never mind. In front would be better. She's got red hair, and that's She's gross. Yeah, she is. <laughs> That's a fair answer, though. Like, if you were with someone that wanted to change you, that wouldn't be worth it. But remember, it's only a week. Yeah, it'll grow back. You know, no, no, I'm not talking about that. that. It's only a week, so you're not going to go in there with those kind of expectations. Yeah, it'll grow back in another five years. I'm not, yeah, I'm you not put, that patient. You, you put a lot of time into that, though. <laughs> so, in other words, if she was like, look, you're, you are my dream guy. You're going to have to shave it, but we'll be together forever. You might consider that forever. one. Forever. I, I don't know. I, I mean, seriously, yeah. the whole thing about if you're going to change somebody, like if you can't accept me as I am right now, are you going to be able to get along with me for life? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> well, and my question would be, what attracted, look at me, what attracted you to me if you think I have to change anyway? Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. How often, how many times a week or how frequently do you get asked, do people come up to you and ask you if they can touch it? So people don't ask if they can touch it all that often. They just know, come just up and touch it. Setting. No, I... I very rarely get asked to touch it, honestly. Wow. Yeah. I have guys come up to me and ask if they can touch it. I mean, that it is, happens, but it's yeah. not like a... I don't think it's even a weekly occurrence. If a guy yeah. comes up to you and asks if they can touch it, do you feel weird about that? No, it doesn't bother oh, me. Okay. Have you ever immediately looked down to unzip your pants if they ask to touch it? <laughs> I have never done that, no. <laughs> there you, well, there you go. We, that's Helpful a freebie hints. for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, thanks okay, a lot. Okay, thanks a lot, Joe. Okay, you're going to answer some questions. I will do my best. You will do your best. All right. Who are you once again? Even though I know who you are. Brian Kern. Brian Kern. He's a reoccurring guest. <laughs> but uh, we have a couple really ridiculous questions to ask you. I can do that. These are called random interview questions just to get some tape. Yes. So, number one, what is the most annoying thing someone says when they come up to you in regards to your beard? Nothing. They come up... Say, hey, that's a nice beard. Nice jobs. Yeah, okay. No one, ever, no one ever comes up and goes, hey, ZZ Top, or stuff oh, like yeah. that? Uh-uh. Well, you don't even look like ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, Duck Dynasty, you know, the yeah, normal stuff. The normal stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay. When, uh, when you, now, when you don't curl it and all that kind of stuff, I mean, how far down do the chops actually? I mean, do you usually wear it like they you do, or nipples. do you, you just you just wear it as regular chops, right? Yeah, just, just regular chops. You come down. They rub his nipples, and he likes to sashay around, so they... Yeah. This is not me asking you that question. I know. I know it's not. It's me asking. It's me. I, I'm actually very jealous of chops. I, I don't grow facial hair, obviously. What? Yeah, I know, right? But the truth of the matter is, if I could do anything, I think I would do the chops because yeah. they just look so badass. Okay, question two. If a, who, is, who is your dream celebrity? Who do you think is, like, the hottest ever? Marilyn Monroe. Okay, Marilyn Monroe. So let's pretend this scenario. Pre-death. Oh, Pre-death. Right there. Down oh, his arm. Damn, that is good too. Okay, so Love Marilyn it. Monroe comes up Pre-death. to you. 
Yeah, pre-death. She's not dead. I mean, because right, right. we don't want the corpse of yeah. Marilyn Monroe coming up to ask you this question because I already know which way it'll go. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe comes up to you and goes, Hey, Brian, <laughs> you and me tonight, we're going to make love all night long. And then tomorrow night, we're going to make love all night long, but you got to shave your beard off. Would you do it? So you're looking for the wrong one, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's the second time we've gotten that, yeah. uh, well, yeah. that response. See, we got a lot of strong-willed guys here. We, we really, they, they believe in their beards, which is a good thing. Now, okay. Chops is a little bit of a different uh, thing for me because my question has been, what's the strangest thing that you've gotten caught in your facial hair or found in your facial hair? It's not. It's, it's not what? It's not, not what? not good. Oh, it's, not, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> So, so it's not, not well, good. but it's under it's the way the chops work. I mean, it's you're not going to get food and stuff. A lot of people oh, are yeah. saying food and it's things still like. still get in there. Oh, it's okay. Still gets in there. So, oh, speaking of getting things stuck in their beards, uh, yesterday I was leaf blowing, and I lifted the leaf blower up to turn it, and next thing I know, part of my beard got sucked into the intake, uh. and I had to hit that kill switch <laughs> super fast because it started pulling uh. it. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> it hurt. These are yeah. not problems you've ever had. No. No. Uh, yeah. not. It's not as long as lustrous is. Yeah. Not quite as luscious. No, not quite as yeah. So. Actually, if you guys combined your beards, you you'd have a pretty badass. He would complete. He would. You guys are like you guys you are like a jigsaw me. puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because this would go on the side. Now you have uh, you have tips at the end of the curls and stuff. Does anybody ever come up to you and ask you if they can touch it? Oh yeah, all the time. Touch. They they ask you if they could touch just the tips or. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> All the time. Do they ever put the tip in their mouth? Sometimes. Really? Not all the time, but I've had it happen once or twice. Do people just come up without even asking you and start touching it? No. No, oh. they always ask. Okay, that's good. We got some polite people. Yeah. Now, when, now, for future reference, we are making a suggestion that if anyone ever comes up to you and asks if they could touch it, that you start unzipping your pants. <laughs> that's a good idea. That's yeah, a good <laughs> Especially if they're touching just the tip. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, okay, well, thank you for your time. Good luck today. <coughs> we got, we, okay, who are you? I'm Josh Mills. Josh Mills? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Hadley, Pennsylvania. That's far away. Yeah. Like how long? Uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Jeez, this is excellent. Okay, so we got some random questions for Sorry, you. Sorry, I'm shoving my microphone in your I face. I know, it's okay. pretty fun. Okay, we got a few random questions for you. And they really are extraordinarily random, but so you got to have a good sense okay. of humor. But they're all beard-related, so... Okay. What is the most annoying thing when people come up to you and like and they and they're they're talking to you about your beard? What is the most annoying thing that you get all the time? Like mm. statement. Mainly people want to touch it or they call you ZZ Top. Oh, okay. Good. Oh my god, he's totally he's stole our two, thunder. Two. Yeah. I know. Well, I, that leads me to one of my questions, which is uh, how how often do people come up to you and ask you to touch it? Every day. Really? Yeah. Have you ever zipped your unzipped your pants when they uh, when they asked you to touch it? <laughs> no. <laughs> my what? mom would whoop my ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's your a mom's good mom. a good woman. She's That's a good, a good mom. Okay, question number two. Who oh, who is your number one crush on celebrities? Oh man, Holly Mila Kunis. Okay, so let's run this scenario. She comes up to you and she's like, "Hey, big boy, you and me are gonna get together tonight." And we're going to get together tomorrow night. We're going to go swimming together. And we're going to make love. But you have to shave your beard off. Would you do it? No. This is good. Four, we're four for four on this one. We're four for four. And yeah, nobody. What, what's your reasoning? No woman is hot enough to shave your beard for. It's, it's more than a beard. It's just it's who I am. There we you go. Know what? We've gotten a lot yes. of that. This I is who I find myself by a woman. I had a I'm boy. Find myself by me. That's very good. And right, right. That's there. There's no right or wrong answer, but that is a good answer. Well, and why change? And we've gotten that quite a bit too. Yeah, she already asked. She already pulled me. Yeah. And then shave. Yeah. Typical woman, always wanting to, sh always wanting to change you. Screw that. I know, but you want them to shave too, and you know it's only <laughs> fair is fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> touche. Actually, touche. Touche. Yeah, you don't meet them with. 18 inch leg hair. No. Or other hair. Yes. Well, you wouldn't the, know if they had 18 inch hair. other hair. The you know, public the, hair. 
We just got to right. remove one letter in there, and you know what I'm talking about. This is, we're making this rated G. My, uh, my go-to question, because I don't have facial hair, is what is the weirdest thing that you have ever gotten or pulled out of your beard? Weirdest thing? We've had cashews, bacon, spiders. Uh, every once in a while. Leaf blower? I had that one. I found a cheese it a couple times. That's a gift that keeps giving, though. Yeah, it's like score, yeah. you know. Yeah. But the worst is when you have a bug that's got, like, sticky legs, and you're trying to get it out like a moth flies in there. Or or like a yellow jacket that keeps stinging you, yeah. and you can't get the <laughs> motherfucker out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I see I don't have this problem. Keep our beard's really clean, so... Everyone thinks they're disgusting, but you know we all keep our beards clean. You got a gnarly goatee. Thank you. What kind of products do you use? Mad Viking. Oh, you're ma- another Mad. We're, we're Mad Vikings are coming large today. Yeah, I'm on the Mad Viking beard team. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Are you? Sponsored by them. Are you competing at Worlds? Yes. Awesome. We'll see you there. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> You are Luke Sumter. No, you had to think about that. Why? Because I wasn't ready for it to come that quick. <laughs> yeah, that Wait, is, we have to pause really? for effect. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's what she pause said. For effect. Pause. I didn't think it was going to come that quick. Say who I was, so that's why. No, because I want, I, hey, man, you have a voice too. Okay. And this is, this is your chance to get, have your voice get out there. We have a couple random questions for you. And they're very random. That's fine. And you answer random them. You can answer them however you choose. Okay. Now, question number one. If someone were to come up to you and make some sort of comment to you about your beard, what is usually the most annoying comment that people make? Either, definitely a comparison to Duck Dynasty. Oh, I hate that one. Is what I hate. I don't mind ZZ Top so much because they're great musicians. Um, even though I don't look anything like them, but Duck Dynasty, I'm just, eh. Did you know the really like people in France call them ZZ Top? <laughs> no, but when I was in France, I actually, it was, you, in Germany, it was constantly either that or um, some rapper. I can't remember what his name was. I have, I have never heard of a bearded I don't even rapper. Know, yeah, I don't know any bearded rappers. I would imagine if you There's were. a big guy that has that food show. I can't oh, Chef Ramsey's, yes, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> no, not him. Oh, uh, Ramsey's is the best. A rapper, and I can't remember his name. But. I, I would imagine you would get Viking and stuff like that if you were overseas. Hey, you big dumb Viking. I do get that quite a bit because of the popularity of the TV show. Right. Well, which that. one? Walking Dead? Viking? Yes, absolutely. The Walking Dead. You know, I, I look just like Rick. Game of Thrones. Rick! <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> look like Carl. All right. Well, obviously, as, favorite characters. <laughs> as me not being bearded, this is my go-to question for the day, and that is, what is the weirdest thing or the most annoying thing you've ever gotten stuck in your beard or pulled out of your beard? That I've ever pulled, got stuck in my beard? Or pulled out, whatever. The weirdest thing that's been entangled in your beard. Hmm. We've had cashews, Cheetos, bacon, bugs. You're not allowed to use any of those. Okay. I, lo- I do love bacon, and that's probably been there. Bacon grease is always in my <laughs> beard. Um, probably finding, you know. Nemo. Quarters, of, you know, a quarter. Quarter? Jeez, you forget quarters stuck in your beard? Let's like see if a, Grandpa can like pull a, a quarter a out of your beard. A small piece of French fry or uh, nacho chips. That often oh, okay. will happen. That makes sense. Uh, Crumbs. Stuck in, and sometimes you won't find them for a while. Or somebody <laughs> else finds them. I actually, when I'm at work, I try to make sure that after I eat, I go to the bathroom and make sure that uh, there's nothing. So I would leave stuff there just for fun. Fecal matter in your beard? Oh, oh God. I haven't that's had an disgusting. issue with that, and that's not that's not true. But apparently, there's been studies done, so blah, blah, blah. They're all bullshit. Yes, I agree. <laughs> all right, you're up. Next question. Okay. Now, let's say who, okay, I, I, you have a lovely wife, and I love her very much, mm-hmm. but let's just say you weren't married. Okay. And hypothetically, who, now, this isn't a hypothetical, but who's your, like, big crush of a celebrity? Like, who do you think is the hottest piece of ass out there? Catherine Winnick. Okay. Now, let's. let's wait, 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 wait. Who? Yeah, who is that? And Lindsay has a crush on her, too. Oh. Catherine Winnick is Lagatha on Vikings. Oh. She's like Scarlett Johansson, but even more badass. Okay. <laughs> now, now, okay, I'm going to do my best impersonation of her because I don't know who she is. But add, add a Viking okay. accent. Uh, okay, Luke. I am here to ask you a question. You and me will make love all night long for one week. Your wife is out of the question right now. You're not married. This is pre, okay. pre-marriage. Okay. Okay, now, Luke. We just had our anniversary last week. Uh, now, Luke, happy anniversary. we will make major love all night long. 
but you have to shave your beard off. So you do it. I'm not married, and I definitely, no issues, huh? Shave my beard. To have one week of love making with her. What's your dream girl? Oh, man, that's tough. So is beef jerky, but you still eat it. Tougher than the one you can get stuck in your beard question. Yeah. Um, I think I would. You think you would? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. That's I can grow a beard back. Yeah. How long did it take you? How long did it take you to get what you got there? Four and a half years. So four and a half years is worth one week of one love week of making lust. with a Viking girl. Sure. <laughs> All right. Does cool. she have to wear the thing that kind of looks like the slave Leia outfit and the Viking gear? I mean, maybe maybe one night. We have you got a whole week. I have a whole week. <laughs> yeah. I have a whole week. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. How many times a week do you get uh, approached to uh, if like people ask you if they can touch it? Um. How times in a week? I mean... How about an average? Do people just come up and ask you if they can touch it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I have people that think that they can try to touch it without, and I actually get pretty pissed at them. You sm- I do that. I smack their hands. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's a little I, intrusive. I, but I do, you know, sometimes people ask me, and I'll say no, but I'll still say I appreciate the fact that you asked first. It's like, like I'm not a waitress, like, just, like, grab it and stuff like that. I'm like, that's not all right at all. Well, it's just like someone coming up, but you're, like, walking your pit bull down the road, and they want to go down there and give it a kiss on the face. You right. just don't do stuff like that. I now, agree. Now, here's my thing. If you're not in the mood, like, is it a mood thing? Like, sometimes you're you're okay with it, sometimes you're not? It depends how I have it uh, secured. Like, if it's braided, I'm more likely to let somebody, like, touch the braid. If it's, like, if I'm on my way to a competition or something where it's nice and brushed out and I'm and it looks good, probably not. Right. You know, and if I do have people touch it sometimes, I'll be like, use the back of your hand, you know, so you're just, like, kind of, like. So you're petting. So you can just feel that it's soft, but, like, don't get your fingers all in it and screw it up. Well, my advice to you is next time they ask if you can touch it, if you're not in the mood, just start unzipping your pants a little bit. <laughs> that will definitely get them to go away, I'm sure. <laughs> Might get you tossed in jail too, so you got to be well, careful. Well, have you ever gotten the? Have you ever gotten the? Hey, if you let me touch your beard, I'll let you touch my butt. Have you ever gotten that one? No, but I have been told I can touch somebody's boobs if they let me touch. I've them. had that one too. Right. That's a fair <laughs> trade-off, though, right? If you weren't married. Yes, absolutely fair trade-off. I've had that one happen to me. And I still remember the, the, the woman came up to me and she's like, she's like, hey, can I touch your beard? And I said, well, you know, it's tit for tat here. Tit for, get, it, get, yeah. get, get that? Got it, got and it, yeah, it. it is. So I said, well, if you touch my beard, I get to touch something on you. And she's like, well, what do you want to touch? And I said, well, it's always the boobs. And mm-hmm. she said, yes. But then after she touched my beard, I was too much of a gentleman and I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do it either. Yeah. But. Well, you're married happily yeah, exactly. to a very beautiful woman. And even though I was single too at that time, so but I still couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. There you go. All right, thank you, Luke. We thank greatly appreciate. And now, who are you representing today? Uh, my home club, which is Steel City Beard and Mustache Club. Yes. And uh, my sponsor, Mad Viking. Oh my Company. God! Another Mad Viking guy. Jeez, I think we're getting them all. I think everyone's Mad Viking here today. Lots of Mad Viking and lots of Steel City. Yep. Well, we're the closest. And Beards the Old Northwest. Yes. Oh, well, the Rust about, Belt guys, about too. equal distance from all yeah. three of those clubs. About a little over an hour to get here. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Luke. Thank we you. We greatly appreciate it. Okay. We are here with the 2017 Summit County Fair Queen and, and the 2017 Trumbull County Junior Fair Queen. Oh, she's a lot, it's a lot of breathing. What is the difference between the junior fair and the fair? Are you younger? Um, no, it's actually the same thing. We just call ours junior fair. Yep. Yeah, and the only difference is some fairs have more royalty than others. Like the Summit County Fair is junior prince, junior princess, prince, princess, king, and queen. Wait, that, she, she lost that. me. That was a lot of talking <laughs> you, there. You lost me at princess. You have no idea because the court is three people apiece. So technically speaking, we have 18 people. Now, do you guys all go to parades and wave? Wait, hold on. Let me see your yes. parade wave. I have to scoop ice cream. See, she jumped right up. <laughs> I'm holding my shoes, Do man. they teach you the parade wave? Um, I had to wing it. I just swung it, yeah. You just yeah. got to know. I do, the, I do the full five fingers, you know. <laughs> oh, do you, really? Yeah. Does it just depend on which uh, event you're at? Like, yeah, if you're going, like, 40 you through a parade, moon, you do the like, five? Yeah. But then if, if there's little girls, you're like, ha, 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 you know. Oh, you have to do the, Disney. yeah, you yeah. got to do the Anna and Elsa thing there, yeah. right? Yeah. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Princess. Oh. That's hard. Tiana was awesome. Moana was okay. Pocahontas was cool, even though it's not realistic. 
Um, yeah, Pocahontas. Wait, Pocahontas is, is the one that's not realistic? She was the only one that was actually a princess. Well, yes. Well, I guess she wasn't a princess, but it was like a real person. Yeah. By far the best. Yeah, Pocahontas is awesome. Pocahontas no, is I'm the best. I'm sorry, Rapunzel wins hand down. I'm kind of, I'm kind of biased. I don't have a beard, but I. Holy have Moses! Beard. You do. Oh have my long gosh! Hair. I didn't even notice that. Look you at know, that. You could. Yeah. You could actually take that hair and fashion it into a. That, there you, are, I've done that. I have done that. So, oh, that's well. That would have been cool. You, why don't you come up and do this? Because I don't have fifteen dollars. <laughs> but you're the queen. That's true. I they might should go let up the queen and judge and be like, "Hi guys." And then No, I feel uh, like you could totally pull stroke on this. Just walk up and be like, "I'm fabricating a mustache out of my three friggin' feet of hair." I could. I could. I know a friend of mine her she, her 4H project was gardening. She had a ton of carrots, and her mom wanted her to make a carrot beard and sign up, and she was like, mm, "No." She was afraid the rabbits were going to attack her. Yeah, the rabbit one's right over there, so well, I don't blame her. Have you ever heard Christopher Walken's imitation of a rabbit eating carrots? Oh my gosh! I know who Christopher Walken is. I you do an, Can you do an impersonation like Christopher Walken? Oh. No, that's not. No, no that's, that's not very not. good. No, no, no. Uh, you, I get him confused. Scott with does. People. Scott does a really good imitation of Christopher Walken imitating a cat. Ready? Yeah. yeah. That's Christopher <laughs> Walken imitating a cat. Gotcha, he yes. does one of him doing a dog. You go. Wolf. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah. Now, there what, you go. Bring, what brings you to the beard comp- contest here right now? You're, are you just kind of mingling around the fair? Mingling and sheer awesomeness. Awesome. There's a lot of good beards here, aren't there? Definitely. Definitely. Now, if you were to look around right now and pick an odds-on favorite to win this beard competition, just go ahead and peruse the room. Yes, look around. Look around. And I feel bad because we're not meaning to ignore Trumbull County. We're just closer to the summit, and we're at the Summit County Fairgrounds here. So go ahead and check this out. If we were, if we were looking for... No, no. Well, th- we'll do. Two. Listen to her, yeah, knowing her yeah, stuff. She's real technical here. We like. Well, that. let's let's That's do one in each queen. category. That's why she's. Queen. And I want you to look around. And I want you to just kind of point out who you think might win the uh, the beard and then a mustache competition. Oh dang! Okay. Um. And you're you're not off the hook, Trumbull County. Pick out your faves too. Yeah, you'd okay. be looking too. I gotta say, the guy with the dreadlocks is really rocking the dreadlocks. That's Joe. He's he's That's a winner. Joe. He wins all the time. I believe that. I believe that. The guy. Right, so Joe. Joe, I'd say, uh, he's got an awesome beard the way he styled the curly cues. The guy in the coonskin cap, I talked to him earlier, actually. I don't know his name, but we, we really hit it off. So I'm, I'm kind of rooting for him. That's Jeff. That's Jeff? Okay. He's part of, uh, he's in Scott's, uh, beard, beard Scott's beard of the old, old Northwest. So he's part of his troop, if you will. All right, Trumbull, what do you think? Um, I think I'm going to have to go with the guy with the hat and the feather. It looks like he took a lot of time on that beard. High quality. Oh, yes. And Brian. Then that's Brian. The guy with the black hat, his mustache. I yeah, like that's, how they, that's I actually like, really trimmed perfectly, too. I like how they don't go with the obvious choice that's standing right in front of them. They really hurt my feelings. <laughs> hurt your feelings? How do you think I feel? I know. Didn't I've been growing be. this thing for a solid five weeks. Right? In, for, in for preparation. For the non-beard category, you win, hands down. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you. See, it's, 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 actually, I feel like any three beard. of you guys would that's probably win. That's artistic interpretation. It is. No. It is. The invisible beard. Invisible beard. See, there, there you, you go. go. And with Wonder Woman being so big right now, I could be like, no, it's like Wonder yeah, Woman's invisible yeah, plane. It's the invisible it's right beard. Here. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. All right, we good? Okay, that's good. Thank well, you thank so you much. Thank you very much, both of you guys. Thank you. What is your name? Adam Moody. We like you, Adam. We like your beards looking really good today. Is this your first time at Freestyle? Uh, it's like the third, third or fourth. Okay, awesome. We got a few random questions we must ask you today. Which are ridiculous, ridiculously random. But well, you have no idea how random the questions are yet. Yes. Now, are you wearing a gray shirt? Uh, yes. Okay, that's not random. Are you wearing a gray pointed. shirt that says the Coliseum on it? Uh, yes, I am. I found my, I, actually this is funny, we were going through stuff last night, and I found an old ticket stub from when I went to a Cavs game in 1992 at the Coliseum. The, so. the only thing I ever actually went to at the Coliseum was a, a WWF. When I was like eight years old, Come on, my you dad ne- took you me. You never in. went saw like Pantera there and I all got, that stuff. I was, by the time oh. I was like old enough for that stuff, I mean, you know. Jeez. I went to a WWF event too. I got to touch Rowdy Roddy Piper as he walked by to face Adrian Adonis in a steel cage match. <laughs> Might have been. I don't know, man. How old are you? I'm 37. Okay, you got me by five I years. See, so I got to see Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. So oh, that's see, that's Hulk badass. The Warrior was there. I got to see all the good ones. Oh yeah, see, I tell people <laughs> that's why I still to this day tune in on Monday nights only because Hulk Hogan ruined me as a child. <laughs> right. And the Ultimate Warrior. Absolutely. Okay, but we're right. not here to talking about right, the yes, WWF. Yes. Who has the best beard in the WWF? E. At this point, e. I have no idea. I don't. I yeah, I, I don't know either. I didn't actually have Daniel Bryan. 
Daniel Bryan had a huge beard. Look it up, podcasters. I, I was going to go with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Back in the day. Good, or yeah. j- j- didn't uh, Junkyard Dog have one, too? He had a mustache. Yeah. No, he had, he had, uh, he had, like, that he had uh, the oh, how- Moon Dog Spot. Look that one up. Bill Neidhart, he had that killer goatee. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. He had that and, goatee going. And there was, like, a, there was, like, a bunch of scrub guys that lost yeah, all the main eventers. That, yeah. The <laughs> Moon Dog Spot had a... Had a beard, kind of like uh, the guy beard, the uh, beards of the old Northwest, kind of looks like Moondog Spot. Very nice. Go ahead, and he used to carry a big bone out to the. Re- okay, anyway, go ahead. So, what is the most annoying thing when someone comes up to you and makes a comment to you about your beard? What is the most annoying thing that you usually hear? Uh. Oh, you can an- you can answer too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's always like, oh, you look like the guys from uh, Duck Dynasty. Yeah, Duck Dynasty. That one's pretty bad. And you know what like I usually do? I punch him in their... <laughs> oh, I can't even say because we've got a young child here. Wait, is this the one that... Did, did, is she competing in the uh, child's she category? She See, she yeah, was the one that was... You had a beard somewhere, right? Yeah, it's over there right now. She actually That's beat, cool. Uh, she competed in one other one and one. She, uh, oh, she wow. placed. I did not. Oh. Uh, so she won't let me live that one down. What's it called? You, the, you want to tell us your name? Sadie. Sadie? You're competing today? Do you like beards? Do you think yeah, they're fun? Talk, you can talk. <laughs> hey, we got a name. I'm okay with that. You're the odds-on favorite to win your category, so we're talking to a champion right. already. So Yay. I like the blue in your hair too, Sadie. It's very pretty. All right, back to your dad. And I like the blue on your what? forehead as I well. I pink too. Where's the pink? It's back there somewhere. Oh, wow. I don't know what's in there. It's my oh, I, see, I just see tons. Of, oh, there, I got the pink. I got, And I like, the purple, I like the purple. I like the purple ribbon also. Hair. All right. so imagine a little girl with pink and purple in her hair. But she's competing, so, yes. I mean, this is right up our alley. Uh, okay, you've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, me, non-bearded, and I know we're going to have to cut this off because competition is going to get started soon. What is what is the weirdest or most annoying thing you've ever gotten caught in your beard or in your facial hair? And uh, I don't think... Probably, probably bugs. Bugs. Bugs driving or something. something yeah. Now, do your, do your lip rings ever get caught in there? Yes, actually, <laughs> they do. Sometimes I, when I wake up, i got to, like, unravel them. That looks I, so oh, curtain. that would that would that probably hurts like really bad. That's why I don't have the balls on it, so I can just pop them out though and just you know smooth it out. And there you go. Okay. That would seem like that would really suck more than anything else. Any other answer? It's a couple of times been pretty annoying. So, hmm, I don't even. Uh, well, uh, I'm already drawing a blank on my questions now. All right, who's your dream celebrity? I, I understand you have a beautiful wife and family, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go off there. But if you were single. In your dream celebrity, which would be, I mean, we've had Selena Gomez, Scarlett Johansson. Who's your dream? Who's your dream Robert Guillaume. person? <laughs> Robert Guillaume. Richard Gere? Yeah. Maybe Robert Goulet. Yes, him too. But, there you go. So, I don't know, that's a tough question, man. I don't know. Like, I haven't really thought about it recently. Back in the day, I was always a Carmen Electra fan, though. Okay, Carmen Electra. Before she turned, like, super dirty. <laughs> which is hot, too. Okay, so, so <laughs> yeah. Carmen Electra, she comes, she's like, hey, <laughs> how you doing today? And what would you say? I probably wouldn't even know what to say, to be honest with okay. you. Okay. I, 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 I normally don't get starstruck, but I've never been good with, with women, so. Okay, well, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. You and me are going to go make love for a week straight. <laughs> but Which would hurt. Yes. Yeah. But you would have to shave your beard off. Would you do it? No, not at all. Okay, good. No way. I look like an idiot without a beard, so. Oh, no, you don't. I haven't, I haven't been clean shaven since I was 18, so it's been. Ah. And me neither. It's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's been going on for a long time. I look pretty ridiculous without something. So, how often do people come up to you and ask you to touch it? All the time. And then, the time. D- and then do you zip your fly up when you're done? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the person, but yeah. You oh, know. okay, good. <laughs> I mean, because of the tips, do you, do they come up and say they just want to touch the tip? No, I usually don't have the curlies. I'm like, I'm kind of like. I like doing the mustache, but at the same time, it's just kind of a pain in my ass sometimes. So I like yeah. it. I think it finishes off the whole uh, the whole look. I figure for this, I got to do something with it. So. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. Good luck no today. Thank you. Good luck. All right, so we're sitting inside this very nice luxury trailer. This is very nice and uh, very quiet. It's not mine, though. Oh, that's all right, though. It doesn't need to be yours. I wish. This thing's pretty awesome. Okay, so who are you? Uh, my name is Don Harshberger from Rust Belt Whisker Society. Oh, now you're the Don that was with us a few weeks ago that we wouldn't let you talk, so today we're letting you have your voice. I do have a voice. Yes, and now you get to say whatever you want. <laughs> That's what you need to say. 
I feel better now. Well, I enjoyed uh, – we just got done with the first annual Beards in the Barnyard at the Summit County Fairgrounds. Uh, went off awesome. It was great. Added it did. A wonderful job. Um, she took your advice very well to put together a super competition. I really, I really have to thank you because I think you were mostly behind this. I'm, I'm kidding, though. <laughs> no, uh, I, I tried to help her as much as I could, but didn't want to conflict with uh, my club's competition since she's not – part of that club but uh she did a fabulous job i do have to say that so i I have my work cut out for me if i'm gonna beat the girlfriend yeah and i i'm already looking forward to next year too i mean it already sounds like she's got some good plans in place for next year which is pretty exciting so uh she definitely does so i'm looking forward to see how next year grows from here and um just seeing it grow from here and see what happens with that youth park and see if we can get it up to a quality standard youth park instead of kind of dilapidated like it is now yeah yeah i mean it wasn't as bad as i thought it was but i mean it definitely does need a little bit of help oh it definitely needs some tlc to it now you were talking about your competition now your competition is in two weeks you said Mm -hmm. uh august 12th correct tell me about it what is it what are the details about this? I need Ooh, to know. details. So the details are uh, Rust Belt Whisker Society has put together a, its fourth annual facial hair festival. Um, this is our fourth year doing it for Youngstown. This is our third year that we've partnered uh, with a nonprofit called Purple Cat Golden String. Um, they are a nonprofit organization that actually helps adults with disabilities, whether it be from uh, Down syndrome, traumatic brain injuries, and they provide transportation, jobs, uh, medication, nursing, staffing, uh, you name it, they help with them. And they are probably some of the most kind people I've ever met, and their clients are an absolute uh, blessing to the earth. So, And that, and that was something, it wasn't that... Uh, it- didn't Anthony organize that? If he's organized, is this the same event that pretty much that that Anthony has organized over the past few years that you've kind of got the torch passed to? Uh, correct. Yeah, we um, Anthony started this uh, four years ago um, by himself when he started Rust Belt Whisker Society. Um, him and I partnered up after that and helped to grow the club. Um, we've had a very successful event since then. Um, he's done a fabulous job, and then with him. Uh, uh, moving on and uh, he, to better himself, he didn't, pass, he didn't pass away, did he? No, he did not pass away. No, oh. he he moved away. Oh, no, move, moved he, on. He took it. Uh, okay, uh, good. Yeah, I got nervous there for work a opportunity. No, uh, no, we don't want that. The chop squad is still alive in him All forever. Right, good. good. <laughs> so, uh, taking over the reins for it, um, we partnered with Purple Cat again and uh, changed the event around a little bit. Instead of with a uh, burger competition, we are actually having it hosted at the Absolutely Ten. Uh, it's a 10-year festival for Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. So Wow, that's pretty awesome. Very. So you guys are going to be PBRing ASAP. We're going to PBR ASAP with RBWS. Oh, man, I like all those, those uh, acronyms a lot of letters. right there. That's pretty cool. So now where where exactly is the event? Now when we're going into Youngstown, where are we going? Uh, you're going to come into Youngstown, depending on how you come well, in. You don't need to give me directions, man. But um, it's just overkill. <laughs> uh, it's actually a place called Royal Oaks. If you've ever watched the show Bar Rescue, no, I have not. They are actually featured on there, so you need to go catch up. Oh, okay. So I like how you did that catch up. You're throwing catch up in there because it's a <laughs> restaurant, and they must have burgers there. Then uh, they have food. They actually have amazing ribs. Uh, the ribs are fabulous, and it's one of the oldest bars in the city. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I did notice, like, when we were down there a few weeks ago, I, I, and, and I know you and I kind of spoke about this real quick, but it's amazing how much Youngstown, like, down to the downtown area has completely changed within the past 10 to 15 years. It's just so nice down there. It's like, it's almost the same transformation that, like, Akron went through, even Cleveland, yeah. like, downtown Cleveland. It's just, there's been, all the cities in Northeast Ohio have gone through a major, like, complete overhaul of their image. Uh, just the quality, uh, the everything, and Youngstown's just another one to add to that list because it's just something's going on that you know really good out there that's that's causing all these cities to clean up and and have better offerings for more people and to get more people to come down into their you know and 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 having events like this too. I mean, when you can go down to a, like Youngstown, I never felt safe down there, but now I feel like comfortable down there. I can walk around. There's a lot of friendly people. There's a lot of cool events going on all over, and then now you guys have a great event down there too for the past four years, 
and it's been very enjoyable to go to. So, I mean, that's awesome that you guys are doing this. Yeah, the, the location is right outside of downtown. Uh, it's about a mile away from the downtown area. Uh, but if you go there or you go to downtown um, before when it was a ghost town and you didn't feel safe, you go come through a lot of the lower areas of Youngstown now for downtown or surrounding parts of it good luck finding a parking space anymore because it's that crowded. Uh, I know even though restaurants downtown even have to offer valet parking because it is so busy. Yeah, that's, and that was the other thing too, is like, hey, I'm going to downtown Youngstown. I ain't going to have a problem parking, but jeez, man. And I don't know how long it took me to find a parking spot. And then I was like late for you guys. And you're like, you're like messaging me. Where are you? Come on, man. I'm like, jeez, get your panties out of a bunch of Don. Oh, you're so pushy. That's- I am pushy. Jeez, it's not my right. fault you can't be, you know, on time. Hey. Slacker. Hey, well, I was on time. It's just the parking. The Youngstown parking's horrible now. So we'll just make sure that when you're going down there to get there a little bit early. What time does it start? Uh, we are starting at 2 o'clock. Registration starts at 12, and it is an all-day event after the competition as well. So uh, live music all night, lots of uh, drink specials, thanks to Paps. You and, guys got Slayer playing? Um, I don't know if it's Slayer. Might be uh, Sliver. I, don't, I have no oh, idea. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 Slayer. They were just on Jimmy Kimmel the other night. They didn't sound very good, but it was pretty shocking. Uh, Whoa, wait, Jimmy Kimmel had Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it was the times have, to, have changed. I know you'll have to. Look, I'll I'll post a link to that video. It was it was quite funny. I gotta see that. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds interesting. But uh, yeah. So okay, live music now. Category wise. Now, I'm, I'm sure you don't remember all of them off the top of your head. Uh, do you guys have any specific unique ones to, like, your your competition? Like, do you have – is there – I know you guys have a kids one, right? We do have the kids one, the Whisker Tots. We have the Whiskerinas. Um, we have the Chop Squad. Uh, we have the Team Goatee. We have your Full Beards. So we have all of that included with everything. So definitely come out and have some fun. It's a blast. And uh, – we just like to show off our beers. We have a blast with it. You know, nothing major changes that we've had from the previous years. So, it's what just, about sponsors? Um, sponsors is Paps. So they actually own the event, and we're just partnering with them because they put so much into it. Wow, we well, figured, see, that's very hey, nice. why not? That so, makes it so much easier for you guys because then it, it's like it does. Well, that, that's some, your your event has kind of transformed into everyone's dream event for a planner because it's. As being a planner, you're going off in 3,000 different directions trying to put all these different things together. And then when you can have someone that has the, the I, I don't, you know, the stature of PBR come in and be like, all right, you know, we got it taken care of. You guys just do what you do. We'll do what we do. And it's, you know, that you wash your hands of having to do so much that's just a pain in the ass, which is, I mean, that's wonderful for you guys. It is, and lots of hard work. Um, so Anthony, were, you know, set up that first event, and then him and I worked on the last couple to turn it into something great and something family oriented, where we could have the, you know, have the kids and have them come and enjoy stuff, but still have it where afterwards it, we can still enjoy ourselves as adults as well. So it, it's a blessing to have someone like Paps come in and uh, be partnered with them for this event. Um, this is a tenth year of the Paps Absolutely event. And to be able to have them partnered with us for a beard and mustache competition is fabulous. And as for the uh, categories, I know we had a couple of different things added to it where uh, we tried to expand it a little more fun where we have like a partial beer where styling aids allow. So if you don't want to quite go like a full blown freestyle and you got like a Fu Manchu, come on out. We got a category for you. Awesome. Now let's, let's uh, touch about the ju- Let's touch the judges. Now that's kind of funny, but. I, I, I will admit, though, that you did ask me to be a part of this, and I'm unfortunately going to be out of town on vacation. So I really wish that I could be there, but I also appreciate the fact that you considered me to be a part of this event. But uh, I, I will announce one of the judges because I've it's someone that I've been uh, getting very close to lately. Oh, yes. <laughs> John Alex Bailey from the Gnarly Beards United podcast. Yes, awesome guy. Yeah, he. And I'll make sure you say hi to him. Grab his ass. I know he likes that. Um, <laughs> and give him a hug. And if you really want, one thing you said he loves more than anything are, his, are the wet willies. So give him a good. Yeah, the child like that. But uh, yeah, make sure you uh, give John a wet willy and tell him it's from the beard caster. He'll get a great kick out of that and uh, slap his ass. 
<laughs> okay, who else do we got? Uh, I have, uh, like you said, John Alex Bailey from the Gnarly Beers United, who has the uh, Gnarly Beer United's radio show uh, every Monday. Uh, I also have Kyle Waller from the Cincinnati Beard Barons. Uh, Kyle's been competing for quite a long time. Uh, I won't say quite a long time. We just saw him sometime recently. When yeah. was that? Uh, it was today. We oh, just saw yeah, like about, today. about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's old history, though. We don't yeah, talk about we that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> and then I have uh, Luke Sumter from Steel City oh. Beard and Mustache Club. I've seen Viking. him too recently. Oh, that's right. That bastard yeah. beat me today again. <laughs> Make, he knocks me into second place. I not this past fall, but the fall before that, I actually beat him at the Western Pennsylvania Beard and Mustache Alliance with my goatee. Oh, good for you. congratulations! And I made him take second place. So, but good he, for you. Uh, he needs uh, to be put in his place. Well, that's why he is not competing. That's why he is judging this year. Oh, he is okay. he three peated the event every year, so he has taken the goatee every single year for our facial hair festival. Such so, a jerk. Uh, so now he can be a jerk behind the paddle. Uh, good for him. Good for you. Yeah, way to stick him. It's yeah. way to stick it to him. I like that. <laughs> yes. Give it um, to the man. Yeah, I kid. I love Luke. Luke has been my another one of my fantastic arch nemesis since yes. the beginning, and I love him to death. Yes. His uh, his imperial goatee is definitely something of a different look. Yes. Pretty awesome, though, still. So, and that's – we're just going to run the three judges this year, good. keep judging simple for it. Uh, and then for our MC, we have uh, Viking Jim, Jim Algren from uh, Clear Channel Radio. Uh, he has uh, helped us judge uh, last couple years, has a, a knack for entertainment, and uh, has a wonderfully sarcastic sense of humor. So what oh better God. person to have at a beard comp uh, for an MC than a man with a great sense of sarcasm? Oh, I love that. I, him and I could be BFFs. I'm sure. Oh yes, uh, he's also hosts the. He's huge into uh, local music. He hosts the Homegrown Show on CD ninety three three The Wolf. So on Sunday nights, check it out if you have a chance. He's a great guy. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you all very much for all this information. If everyone wants to check out the, uh, the I, I'll put links to all this stuff that we talked about in the show notes, so you can just easily click on the link. It'll take you right to the Facebook page, the event page for this event, and I'll put links to all the judges and all everything that we talked about but thank you very much don i wish you the best of luck with this and hopefully next year i'll be able to come down and be a part of it again i hope so too we'll see you then thanks and thank you everyone who participated in our little discussions there and you know we really dove deep with a lot of those questions but i'm thinking that uh this is going to be happening more often because it was a lot of fun to just go up and talk to everyone and ask them really stupid questions because it was really funny. And on top of that, we got the 2017 Summit County Fair queen who she looked really excited when we went to go talk to her. So that was kind of another reason why we went up to her and started talking to her because she just looked, she looked very excited about what we were doing there. So thank you to her and thank you to the Summit County. Thank you to Abby Abby, thank you so much for putting on a great competition. Thank you for letting me win second place in my category. Once again, losing to Luke Sumter as usual because, you know, he just kicks my ass every freaking time. But that's all right. I think I think I got you a few times at, at the very beginning. But, hey, you know, you give a little, you take a little, and it's all about your friends. And I love Luke to death, and I wish him every time we compete against each other, I wish that he beats me every time. That I mean, it... I love winning, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you root for your friends a little bit more than your desire to win. And that's at least that's the way I am when I compete. I'd rather have my friends win. And it gets more fun the further down the line you go when you guys, like literally like every competition, it's either jumping back and forth between him and I or even Dave Gears, who always gets added to the mix, or Jerry Karn. It's always some sort of weird combination of the four of us in any of these like in these competitions in the Northeast Ohio, Pennsylvania areas and stuff like that. So it, it's a great group of guys, and we have fun, and it's all f- fun for charity and competitive, and you know what I mean. I know all of you out there are always rooting for your friends, but once again, you, you, you want to bring a trophy home. And thanks to Abby for these awesome trophies that she made. And I'd like to thank Don for sitting down with me and talking about the Rust Belt Whisker Society's competition. I hope that everyone can make it out there. Um, it's going to be a good time. I went to it a few years ago. I had a blast. The kids' category is great. You know, spend some time with your child. 
make a beard with them. You know, make it a project for the family. It's a good family time, and you'll really enjoy it. So I hopefully you check it out and let them know that you heard it here. And yeah, and and thank you to John Alex Bailey from Gnarly Beards United. I greatly appreciate everything that you've done. You're doing an awesome job out there getting people informed of all the things that I can't, and I greatly appreciate that. So keep up the good work. Make sure you check in on his shows every Monday night on Gnarly Beards. Oh, man, I feel bad because I didn't remember. Gnarly Beards United. Uh, it's on Blog Talk Radio. You can just search for it on Facebook. Uh, I know he has a website. It'll be in my show notes. I feel stupid, John, for not being able to actually throw the proper address out. But all you got to do is just search for Gnarly Beards United, and you'll be able to find it. Check it out every Monday night, and I guess that's all I can say. So once again, thank you, everyone. Go check me out at thebeardcaster.com. Subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, wherever you listen to your podcasts at. I'd greatly appreciate it. And last but not least, as I always say, make sure you tell a friend or two. And that's pretty much it. Make sure, oh, I know, I know, uh, Bearded, the an ode to the beard, the Indiegogo. Go check it out. Go support them. These guys are getting ramped up to get ready to go at the end of the month to head to Worlds in Austin. Please go check out their stuff. There'll be another link. Though there's a video. Check it out. Watch it, and go support them. They need help. They're gonna make an awesome documentary. That's not only about the ride they're making from Fort Collins, Colorado to Austin, Texas. But it's also about beard culture, the people in the community, and all the cool things that everyone's doing. So please go out there and support these guys. They're, they got awesome project. So on that note, we'll leave it at that. Everyone have a great week until I talk to you next week. And if you're going to a competition this week, good luck to you. All right. Take it easy. Ciao.